Hi folks, Mike here from Random Acts of Cooking and I finally pulled the trigger uh, especially since they had a Cyber Friday black thing anyway uh, it was 20 bucks off the regular price I got myself a Kosori air fryer oven let me show you okay this is it I'm not gonna do any uh, no unboxing you know this and that there's a lot of videos out there to show you what this thing does and everything. So I'm just going to jump right into it. And I'm going to do a rotisserie chicken in here tonight. So uh, let me show you what I'm going to try to do here. Okay, here's the chicken. It's 5.3 pounds. I've taken the, uh, the gizzards and guts out of it. Rinsed it, patted it dry. I've got some just some regular cooking oil on it. I'm going to season it with... It's incredible. I'm going to give that a good coating and then over the top of that I'm going to put whole Italian seasoning and then I need to tie these legs up, maybe the wings up so they don't flop around so you don't need to see that. I'll get back to you in a minute after we got all the seasoning and stuff done. Okay this is it. I got it tied up, the wings tied up, got the legs tied up, got the uh, rotisserie in there. Uh, you're supposed to make this kind of balanced. It's a little bit on one side. I don't know. We'll see how it runs. And uh, if it doesn't look like it's turning well, I'll have to pull it off and try it again. Anyway, all right. This uh, on oh, the seasoning. This Italian seasoning is just not sticking very well to it right now. So I thought I'd let it get uh, a little bit bubbly on the surface or something, and then I'll. Uh, pull it out and put some more seasoning on it once the skin starts to get wet in there so alright let's get it in the oven that way okay I had to work on it a little bit to try to get the weight sort of balanced on that but you can see shortly that it's yeah there it is that's the best I could do anyway uh, it's just barely scraping the bottom of the pan uh, on this this wing area right here so We'll see how that's going to turn out, but it's rotating and it's warming up and I was going to do a temperature of 350 and we're going to start with uh, one hour and anyway I'm going to check it after about 15-20 minutes and see if I can somehow get some more seasoning on there. If not, well, this is what it's going to be. All right, we'll see you back. Uh, well, I'll let you know when it happens. <laughs> All right, later, folks. Okay, we've got about eight minutes left. I know it's not done cooking yet, but I'm going to stop this so it'll stop turning around. See if I can use this utensil to get this out of here. Okay, we got it out. Now I'm going to put some more seasoning on it and put it back in. Right, now to see if I can get this back in the hole. Got it. All right. I'm going to start it up again. But I'm going to give it... We're still going to do 350. And I'm going to do for 30 more minutes. Okay. See you in about a half an hour. Okay, it's been just over an hour and a half. I checked the temperature just a couple of minutes ago, and we are at a minimum 166 degrees. So it is done. Let's see if we can get this out of here with this little utensil thing again. And there's our rotisserie chicken. Alright, got to let it cool down for a bit and then we'll cut into it. Alright, we got our string off, we got the rotisserie utensil pulled out, and I had to try, I had to see what I was doing, so I cut with the wing off. And it's done. Looks really good. Yeah, see that's it's done. I work at it a little bit. This will just pull apart. Kind of pull apart anyway. 
All right, let's get a little taste test going. All right, we're just going to do a one bite taste test and then it's time for dinner. So I got the leg and the thigh here. Still warm. Take a bite. Wow, that's good. The, uh, even my fingers taste good. The uh, Italian, whole Italian seasoning has no salt in it. That's why I use the, it's incredible to get a little bit of salt and pepper from that. And the combined flavor of those two seasonings on this chicken is outstanding. I'll be doing some more rotisserie chicken on this. I don't know, next cook may be pizza. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, it works good, folks. Thanks. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.